Greetings and welcome back to Timberborn. I'm Catherine Sky, and I'm excited about all of our future prospects. We have much stuff going on. We have only two days until the wet season again. Now, it occurred to me that this area is not getting constructed because our uh, builders probably can't reach it. So what I want to do is let's first of all delete some of these trees. Sad times, but it has to happen. And then just extend the road into this area. Now, it does look like our forester is not doing too much. Hello? Help? Maybe fix this, please? Do the thing? Maybe. Anyway, hopefully uh, Vuzashi can get that stuff under control here. Actually, what we can do to save some work is maybe just build over these roads instead of having the beavers uh, chop down those trees. But hopefully this is going to extend our building area out uh, to make these uh, levee walls a possibility. But if it doesn't happen, that's actually okay too. Um, well, these guys can be built from above, but those trees, I think they have to be taken out by a builder or constructor. So let's go ahead and finish this levee wall there. And we're just gonna keep on getting stuff going. So now this thing, what is this thing doing? This thing is not connected to a district center. All right, let's delete this and replace that with a regular path so that the main uh, district can shove logs into here. And this thing is, it is working uh, every now and again. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. The deal is, is when this thing fills up, that's when you wanna transfer over the gate and then just basically shove it into a completely other district. So let's see, we have uh, logs that are being moved over here. So they're gonna haul this over. Let's make sure our beavers have buffs. Yeah, okay, they're carrying two logs at a time, but this one works at the district center. Hopefully we can get some of our beavers working at the hauling post because they can actually carry double what the regular builders can carry. So we have two there and whenever we get some more uh, employees from the um, <clears throat> the breeding pods, <laughs> they'll, they'll kind of join them. Do we have, actually have any breeding pods? I'm looking for them. I'm like, where are they? Oh, we have one. We only have one. Hmm. I think we may want to, I don't know. We'll see. I guess we'll see what we need here. But we do have plenty of housing for our beavers in this zone. Uh, we obviously don't have that many uh, beavers living there. How about here? Let's check our main city. We have, uh, we need more spaces for them to live. That's gonna be important. Now this thing, uh, that was a roof. Okay, that's not what I thought it might be. Also, we could, let's see. Yeah, we could actually put another one of these row houses. Somebody suggested this a while back is to remove this bush and then change the position of this road so that it is over here instead and then have another row house facing. And I think that's a really great idea. It's gonna give us a little bit more space uh, and then uh, more beavers can live there, which is kind of great. Now then, otherwise, I do actually kind of want to put some decorations around. We have some metal blocks, but man, these, uh, these decorations that we have are a, a bit expensive. Let's see, the beaver statue is 30 metal blocks. That's a heck of a lot of metal blocks, but it might be worth it. Let's see, I guess we can unlock it with science points. It is very expensive. And maybe we put it, I guess we can put one here. Optionally a second one, but for now it's expensive enough just to put the one. And then I think we might put another one on on a road maybe 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 where this flower pot is would be good i don't know i want to kind of uh put it where this breeding pod would be is a nice spot here would be good but i don't know if they can reach to build it there i don't think they can actually oh also this warehouse finished which is great this one is carrots that one is bread so this one is going to be grilled potatoes uh, we'll just put that there. Grilled potatoes. I guess we, I had a comment where someone said if they put the desired at zero, then it saved builders or um, 
polars, a lot of times shifting stuff around because they noticed that they would just move stuff all the time. So I've been considering putting a lot of these desired numbers to zero, as in requests are zero. But I don't know. I think I think in the city center it's good to have some. So we'll just leave that one there and we'll reconnect the roads so that our beavers have an easier time getting around our city. Um, all right, what else do we want to do? Most of our population is in this area. I kind of am thinking that I might do some uh, heavier decorations as in the monuments. But I do want to look at the bonuses that we get from any of those things. Let's see, all one is working speed is, that's good. Walking speed, wow, they're all good. And life expectancy is very nice, all three, but that is very expensive to build. Let's see, 400 planks. Let's see, we have 190, 200 gears. We have 93, 300 metal blocks. What is the best one that we can get? I'm thinking walking speed would be the best. That is 400 planks. So why don't we get, why don't we do this? Let's call, let's buy this 3,000 science points. It's kind of a nuts amount of uh, science points. But what we can do is just put it here in place of this science Thing, I think or is it three across no it's two it's only two two by two and I think we will or maybe we'll put, put it over here this almost covers everything this one does cover everything here could put it on top of there or maybe maybe actually here is the best spot uh, right there so we can kind of build around here I like that idea actually let's put this here Okay, and then the other thing I want to do is I want to turn off some of the gear makers. So let's pause this one and that one. And that one is already paused. Let's see, we have some paper, which is great. We have, let's turn this one on. I'm trying to rejig our power usage here. Uh, so we might be able to turn one off. Eh, I guess we'll turn one off. Let's just turn one of these engines off. Okay, 600 of 690 needed. I think that's actually better. I think that's better. Okay, so let's see. This one, I think we'll do a desired 300. Okay, so that's good. We're getting there. One day left, but our main reservoir is still intact, which is kind of great. It is actually great. I have been thinking about this situation over here, and I think what we want to do is uh, change this to be two... Uh, water dumps instead of one central one. I think that's a far, far better thing to do here. So I, I'm going to delete some of this stuff, I think. All right, let's delete this thing. So we'll have one here. I think I'm going to add a levee right in that square. And they can build that at their leisure. And then the other one, maybe we put it right over here. Have one right there. Uh, and that'll actually leave us more room for trees and, and other things like that. Because, or we could, maybe we could make it right there. That's another idea as well. If we put the thing right there. Kind of delete this bridge. Um, yeah, I think that actually might be the best solution. Let's put one there. Okay, let's delete this. And we'll get these things organized. And we'll put them at a higher priority than other stuff. And we'll get that stuff organized. Alright, so that's good. I think we're going to be happier with that. We're going to get a little bit of our land back. And more importantly, have less evaporation. Because... That's really the key critical part of this playthrough right now is having that evaporation be so, yeah, uh, frustrating and severe. Okay, we have some issues down here. We have no water in this district and that's bad, I think. So let me see if we are, are we still calling this the temporary district? I think we are. Yep, district three. Uh, let's make sure and check on this. So District 3 uh, is getting logs, and that's it. This one, District 3, is getting water. They are actually getting water. So let me go ahead and put two more beavers on this job. 
and hopefully we'll get more more people there okay so this is a builder's hut i guess we'll turn this back on so that we get our unemployed out of the house and doing stuff Let's let them get to work all right and here we can build our levy we can also um hmm, i don't know if we want to replace this yet or replace the trees yet because i also want to build <clears throat> the uh, the reservoir walls over here but i think we need to do that in a, dif in a different way let's remove these trees instead and i'm going to go ahead and delete this path over here there we go yes delete and we have maple trees and place those right out there so hopefully our forester is going to keep uh, getting stuff done because right now we're lacking a lot of tree replanting and it's kind of a little bit worrying to me okay so let's see small pool is going to be here running past uh one maybe two of these things kind of going around this way and then we'll have it end up here and this is going to be our sort of splash pool where we're going to splash down and uh, make things work so let me I want to build our levees out here as well and what we can do is kind of connect these to well we don't need to go too far actually we can just go this way maybe I don't know if we even need that amount of space uh, we might, but we might not. Uh, so this will also enable this land to be flooded as well. So that's a that's a positive for sure. So here we're going to get another road out here uh, to make sure that we can build this thing. And then we'll get a... Do we want this to be too high? Probably not. Well, maybe, no, actually we do want it to be too high because uh, the courses are also going to have one block on top. So let's just make it too high. And I am aware that this is a lot of area and it's, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's a bit hard to say, you know, how much exactly one is going to need of this stuff because we haven't actually created this specific uh, configuration before. But I do enjoy experimental stuff, as in trying stuff out, working it out as we're going along. Uh, we don't know all of the answers. We know some of them, but not all. And I like that part of the game. It's uh, fun to experiment and see how it works, and hopefully we don't die. <laughs> that's the roughest part I think <laughs> is the like oh gee hmm we might actually die yeah but what I want to do here is maybe what we do is I want to I think I want to put a priority on the base parts of these things uh, so at least we have one course laid I think that's what we need to do here there we go. Let's do that. And then we can also build a gate at that level as well. Kind of build this up so that we have a gate. All right. So this is our new priority there. And stuff is happening. Is this working at all? Building isn't connected to any... What? Hello? Um... You know what? It might be too far from here. Ooh, I didn't think about that. Look at that sneaky. Darn it. It is very sneaky. Yep, that's not going to work, actually. Okay, so this sad time thing is not going to happen. Well, sad times. Uh, it just has to be deleted because uh, it also has to be placed on the ground, I believe. Let's see. Let me just check again. Um, No, actually, you could build it sort of in the air. Or on a platform so that's uh, an, a possibility let's see uh district center where are you there you are so we could potentially put it like here if we want to transfer logs though i think i don't know i'm kind of thinking it might be enough just to transfer a little bit at a time all right let's see what's going to go on here and how we're going to get this going so this is our new priority is to get those courses laid um, and hopefully we can get that done. So how is this going? Do we have, we don't actually have much in there and I'm kind of surprised. Let's see, 
Fallers, do we have any more? Okay, they get uh, lots of bonus for carrying stuff. They can carry 23 kilograms, which is fantastic. That's almost, I think logs are six. What? So it's almost four logs. It's three. But it's still better than just one or two. So we're kind of waiting for this to get filled up, and that will eventually happen. Now then, we have water. So we're going to start. Let's see. This is at 1.5. That seems fine. I'm thinking I might just put dams on top here. This can also, these people can start pumping. Because we would like to fill up this large water tank at the top. That's, that's going to be important to us. And now I'm going to shut off all of the engines. Uh, whoops, that was the wrong pausing button. There we go. So engines shut off right now. And we're just going to use the mechanical power that we get from the water wheels. Okay, this one can also be unpaused. And we're going to go ahead and prioritize that water wheel because, yeah, more power is more better. At least today it is. <laughs> I know that we're going to have to go without power for a tiny bit of time, but it should be okay. All right, so this is filling up. This is now renewing this reservoir. Oh, look at this. You can just see it's like spreading, getting deeper and deeper. And soon we shall have our lovely waterfall back. Wow. Oh, this is a problem. Look what happened here. We almost ran out of water. This is actually very scary. So what we want to do is we want to have more water storage. Absolutely need more water storage. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete some of these crops because we don't really have much choice here. So we need a... This there. Actually, they can all be... Oh, that's a nice way of actually putting them, isn't it? All right, we... Wow, down to 41 water. This is scary. Oh, and everybody's been using water from there. Ay, that was close. That was close. We almost died. Not good, not good. All right, so this is super important then to get this course laid. This is like massively important. Um, I'm not going to worry about this. We're going to pause that. Let's not put more logs toward that. But we definitely do need to have uh, more of these water storage containers because this is like crazy bad. Very, very bad. Lots of thirsty beavers around here. Scary times. I wonder if people here died off because of that. Can we look? I don't know. It doesn't look like they died off recently, so it might have been okay. Um, but do we have water being sent here to Scrap Farmington? We do. But not much because we don't have much. No. Help. Uh, right. So let's see. We might. What we could do is have an emergency water thing over here. But I don't think we can build it in time. I don't think that that's possible. Okay, so we now have water power. We now have the ability to generate more water, but I'm really worried about Scrap Farmington. Um, how many people are here? 13. Died of old age. Eh, I'm worried, I'm worried, I'm worried. They don't have any water at all. And it's going to take a tiny bit for this water to fill this area in as well. Oh, man. Okay. We also... Let's just build another deep water pump over here. And I want to put this on high priority to get rid of this and build that. Super important. I'm feeling the pressure right now. <laughs> it's very scary, this. Very, very scary. Okay, let's do this and then add another deep water pump on top. And we'll go ahead and prioritize that as well. Are they going to get water? Do we have water? Please give us water. Okay, good. They do have water. Okay, that's great. Um, I'm going to also build another uh, pump here because I think it's good to just have this stuff available and we'll turn on this and now that we have a tank here uh we can definitely store more okay Whew, they didn't die this is good ha, happily they did not die this is kind of great very very great now then here we now have issues as well 
I think we definitely need to pay attention to this right now. We need to have these pumps put into place and reallocate our labor force. Because this is super important to not have... We don't want this area to die. We don't want our beavers to die. It's sad. Okay, let me... I'm going to delete these trees. We're also going to get gears over here. Okay, let's get beavers. Those are working on that. Hooray. Okay. We really want this course to get laid. Please, go. I think we just don't have enough tree cutters, really. Let's see. Um, all right, so there are some beavers working there. I think we'll add another woodcutter here. So we'll add that uh, super priority. Good. I wonder if these beavers died. Nope, they're still here. Wow, that's cool. Okay, so we do have one lumberjack flag working for us right now. So that's great. That's how they're getting their wood. We'll extend this over there and also maybe put these in the tree cutting zone if we need to. Okay, well, it doesn't quite connect, but we can add another lumberjack flag out there. All right. So, yeah, this is this is a bit rough actually trying to get all of these things done, but we don't quite have enough um enough beavers to do everything. Okay, let's add this to be I guess over there is fine. That's just to gather these trees up here. But yeah, we're in a pretty bad position with stuff uh right now. Let me see about putting in a new water tank. <clears throat> Let's add one here and here, and we'll put this one on priority. So this is going to need planks and gears. We have 260 planks. This should be built instantly. So let's just add our roads here as well. And hopefully we can get these water pumps working. That's one thing that we're quite short on at the moment. So this one... Okay, these uh, beavers are still working here to get stuff going. Okay, here, I think, I think we actually want to have another water dump here. And... Okay. Looks like, yeah, it's full over there. Uh, we'll have another one. Ooh, where do we put this one? Maybe, let's see, how far is this? goes all the way out here so I'll just add one nearby man this is a time like my heart is racing it's like no beavers help oh my god I almost let them die I, I mean I didn't let them die just they were gonna die without my permission but I couldn't really do much there it was like we kind of got saved there just a tiny bit that was very scary very very scary Okay, so that's going to happen at some point. Okay, the this is happening. We really need to be very careful about what we're spending energy on, I think. Let's see what we have in terms of power. So far, 540 power. Uh, and I guess that's, that's what we got. Okay, that is what we have. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the metal blocks factory. I don't think we actually need this. We definitely don't need it. So now we're running at 440. Um, what else do we need? Paper is not necessarily necessary. Oh, and explosives. We need to build a little uh, warehouse to put those in, I think. Because I don't think we have a warehouse for explosives. So I'll just put that over here. Just add that right over here oh whoops let's delete that real quick all right this is actually almost built so i'm going to go ahead and press play on this so we have that energy available to us meanwhile back at the ranch this little pool is getting made which is great So over here, I'm going to kind of uh, finagle the actual building of the dumps and the pumps as we get more of this completed. 
But for right now, we don't really need to worry about it. What I really want to happen, guys, is build this, please. Hello. Okay, this here is getting filled with some uh, stuff. That's good, but... I wonder if I should transfer it over now. I guess I could. Actually, what we do need is we need more uh, haulers. Because both of these log storages are completely full. They're absolutely full. So maybe we just need to be a little bit more something. But these things, how much do they cost each? They are 12 logs a piece. So if I use those logs from over there, I think actually it's a better idea to do that right now. I'm going to go ahead. We're going to switch the district gate. This is the very convenient part of this whole thing. Is we'll move the district gate to over here. And then delete this one. This is very sneaky. Very sneaky, by the way. And we'll put that one there. And so our beavers can now build stuff. And now, the other thing is, do we have a district distribution center sending? We do not. Oh, hey. Let's send logs over here. We'll send them right over here. And they'll get some. Yay. We'll put in two haulers. Might need more. Do we have logs on this uh, limit thing? Let's look. We have 70 needed. Wanted. Wow, they have 107? Really? That's a lot of logs. Why are they not building? What is the problem with the building? Okay, so let's see. I'm going to go ahead and pause this one so they can get through here. Why, why are they not building this stuff? Maybe I need to put it at a higher priority because I really want them to build this before the drought comes. We have to fill up this area at at least one level before the drought comes because I'm really concerned about that. Okay, so now we have more logs, which is great. Okay, beavers idling, doing their thing. We can probably build, geez, I would love to build some kind of like decoration or do they need some leisure stuff? Social doesn't really affect anybody but the children. They grow up a little bit faster. So I think we're gonna skip that for now. It does look like we need some more housing for them. And that's kind of important in our playthrough. I think I'll build another barracks. See, this is 40 for 10. This is 20 for 5. 35. Let's see, 20. Okay, yeah, I think that's probably okay. 74, 16. 40, that's probably a I can't do that much. I can't do that much math right now. But I think that might be the best solution. But I don't want to spend 70 logs on it. Okay, we'll get this done as well. But we need this course done, guys. Come on. Come on, folks. Do the thing, please. I think I will also... What I can do is build a staircase here. And that will allow us to get these uh, upper blocks here. Uh, and it saves us building three different platforms there. Okay. So now they're able to get all of this stuff from the warehouse, which is great. I should build um, a thing where they can fill up two different warehouses. That would be kind of amazing. See, how far can they travel? Can they get further? They can actually get further. Could build a thing like right here, potentially. Mm, maybe. If I have more stairs involved. But there, we could come up with a complicated set of pathways and thingy majingies. But this happens to be on such a weird, kind of inconvenient spot in places. So, let's see. They are using the logs, which is great. 
Should I build that second one over here? I'm so tempted, but it's like, oh, I don't know if I should invest in it. I don't know if it's worth it. All that kind of stuff. Oh, wow. These beavers are coming from over here to make this happen. Wow, that's surprising. It's really interesting. All right, cool. Come on, beavers. Do the things, please. Um, all right, so what we can also do here is we can also pause like these lumberjack flags because we do not need people working on this stuff at all. Not necessary. So let's see. There is a block needed there. And let me also add trees where they have been chopped down. Just go. There we go. All right. So Forrester has more work to do. All right. This colony is doing okay. They are actually really powering through and making this thing happen. That's pretty cool. All right, beavers. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Hurry up. I'm telling them to hurry, but it's like <laughs> we, we do have limited amounts of building material. So it's like really kind of a bit hard at the moment. Kind of. <gasps> no. Oh, no. The drought is coming again. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. So this one is next priority for gears and planks. We do have enough. So that's nice. I think I'm actually going to turn off some of the plank makers because I think I feel like we're using too much wood in uh, doing those. Now, one thing I was thinking about was bread. We are not seeming to have uh, more bread made. We do have a lot of wheat, but we don't. We're not grinding enough of the flour. So I would love to build a a grist mill. A grist mill situation. Oh yes. So let's see. That is under food. So grist mill. Hmm. I guess we could have one here. And maybe one there. That stacks quite nicely, actually. I'll just build one at a time, though. Let's pause this one. Or, whoops, P for pause. There we go. And then this one we'll have on medium priority, I think. And I feel like, wow, we need, we probably need more pumpers. We definitely need more pumping stations. This is a bit, uh, yeah, not enough. Definitely not enough. Let's see. Let's get rid of this on high priority, please. Okay. Because this thing, this isn't even filled up. This is a, like, really scary at this point not to have these things filled. Uh, has this thing been done? No, it hasn't. Oh, no, it's because I didn't... I didn't, uh... Upgrade the priority on those platforms. That's not good at all. And these need to be up. And this needs to be built. I don't know if we have any gears in this neighborhood over here. So, let's see. Let's add this. Do we have any gears here? In this area? No. Sad times, alas not. So maybe what we do is get, hmm. I want to make sure that we get, okay, that one is finished. Are we going to finish one of these? Maybe. 20. We need 20 gears. I don't particularly, actually, we can start one of the gear makers as it happens. And I think what I'm going to do is, because we have a limited amount of uh, items that we can send. Ooh. The other thing is we probably should build a house for these folks over here. Let's see. Is this... Okay, people are done with this lumberjack hut. So I'm going to move that to over here. And over here. Another one. And we'll get cutting orders for this area. Because that's kind of what's driving this entire area is just these lumberjacks being able to get these dead trees from over here. Okay. What else? We are doing okay with that. We need to build the water dump here. The new one. Okay. Put those 
Come on, folks. We really need to get these levy blocks into place. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Hurry. Let's go. Help. Please. All right. So these are uh, capping out at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and pause one of these. How are we doing on employment here? We have four unemployed beavers. That's a lot of beavers that are unemployed. Uh, all right. These are waiting for logs. I would like to build a builder's hut as well because I feel like that's where we're really struggling right now. So this, we'll put that on super priority for now. And we might, let's see. Okay, so all of these water pumps are now functional. That's pretty good. The other thing I can do is let's remove this district gate and put it here. And we can use these water pumps for filling up our main area. Okay, sneaky, sneaky. And we'll put that one, obviously, unpause that. Let's also prioritize this. So that's three more water pumps to add to our stuff over here. All right, so how is this going? We only have, what, wait, one, what? Hello? What's going on over here? Why hasn't this... Oh, did I not... I did set it up. I wonder why they haven't built this yet. That's really confusing. Uh, did I pause this? No, but there are no builders working there. Okay. So it looks like we have to take off maybe one of our haulers. Okay. So here we're kind of running out of logs a little bit. Okay, come on. Oh no, and this isn't done yet either. They're trying, but they're not doing very well here. It's not perfect. Let's go ahead and use this one. These are also... All right, we're going to put these on high priority. Ah, let's do it the fast way. We'll do it the fast way. Go there and do that. Okay. Come on, builders. Let's go. I feel like they don't always get stuff done fast enough for my taste. It's like, where are you? Hurry up. Do the things, please. Okay, so we have... We don't have a lot in here. This is... This is might be actually kind of rough. Oh, whoops. I don't like when I do that. When I forget to put a space for a road, that's very inconvenient. So let's chase these bits off and then these as well. And get those going. Because getting this water before it flows off the map is like my top priority. Okay, this... Some, of, some more of this has been done. Hooray! Okay, how is this working? Is this working out? 11 logs left. All right. So this is, water isn't connected. Ah, okay, so that's just a tiny, tiny bit too far from our city center. Oh, no, it's not. It's not. We just forgot to put a path all the way there. Darn it. There we go. Okay, so that should get a water carrier very shortly. Okay, and hopefully with this stuff, we'll be able to eventually build our water tank. But we need to send some gears across. I think we were going to do that. Let's see. Uh, these people are sending to Scrap Farmington. Logs to District 3. So this was our main thing. So if we stop sending these, we can add a new route here to send our gears Okay, and then let's change this thing to have 20 gears. Okay, that's what we want to do. Very good. Okay, so we're getting some of this happening. That's good. Ray, okay. Little tiny bits at a time. I don't think we're going to make it, though, because we have so few days left. We still have to build this up if... Uh, if we want to, but we can't build that up until we actually get some of this going on. So it's like, no help. We could build maybe one square here, though. I guess we could build one. 
We could start with it anyway. Let's build... Uh, well, even a dam would be better. Well, actually, levees are cheaper than dams. So let's build as much as we can. Yeah, there we go. Let's do this at high priority and high priority. And at least have a little bit going off there. Okay, come on, beavers. Go, go, go. Okay, so now this is at zero again. I'm going to go ahead and move the district uh, center again, or district gate. And we'll put one there instead and put the road over here. That way this one will start requesting logs again from over here. Okay, so we did get this finished, but it is nowhere near full enough. Oh, that's because we have... We don't have enough beavers over here. I kind of am wondering, like, did something happen to our beavers? Possibly. I think we only... We might only need one... Uh, one group of... One farmer. Because I think we're making way too much food over here. So let's pause one of these farmer huts. And have somebody working over here. Please. We need people working. Help. Uh, let's see. We'll move one of the yeah distribution post people hello they still didn't get anybody help okay let's try that does that work yes okay good they have one more person there we might need to actually grow that colony a bit i feel like we don't have enough people i feel like i feel like there's some very bad things that went on here like some of our beavers must have died and i didn't notice no, don't. It, I didn't say that. Never mind. I noticed all beaver deaths. They're, they're, it's fine. I, I noticed. Yeah. Nobody died without me noticing. Oh, this was a bad decision. Help. I... Okay, that was not good. I forgot to do those stairs, and that's why that bottom part is not getting completed. Okay, this is working. Okay, this part is starting to overflow a tiny bit. At least it's something, right? Uh, water still pouring through, which is nice. We also have uh, this area over here that is able to flood. So that's okay. I'll go ahead and put in another block, I think. Um... Of course, if I do put in another block, it's going to create that situation, I think, where you have the one tile gap or one voxel gap. Ah, it's fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. But I don't think we're going to complete this. This is really annoying. I wanted to get this done, and we just didn't have enough wood, I guess. Yeah, we're really lacking the logs. I'm kind of glad that I did build up this forest area, but it's going to take time for stuff to grow. Maybe... You know what, maybe I need to also build... Maybe I'll build some, like, maples out here. Uh, Yeah, let's just do that. Let's build a couple of maples in this area just to have some quick trees. Let's do that. And we'll, we'll just prioritize planting... Oh, not maples. Jeez. Come on, brain. You can do this for me. You can plant the stuffs I need. Okay, and I'll plant some pines as well. I should have followed my own advice, which I have given so many times, to plant those things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually prioritize them. So we'll plant the pines, uh, and ma well, maples first and then pines, and then hopefully we're going to get some trees getting on in here. Okay, so these are full. That's amazing. Hooray. So the rest are going to go... Hopefully that water is going to go in there. And we need to kind of maybe shift the district gate over a tiny bit soon. This is starting to want to overflow. It is trying to hold the water in, but I don't think we're going to be able to get this fast enough done. No. No, no. Sad times. The sad times are here. I'm going to go ahead and... See, it's 0.1 days. What if I close it? 
Is it going to fill up too much? It might. Yeah, probably. Nope. There, it stopped. It stopped. Okay, so here's our drought. We have new issues now. But we have all of this filled up, so that's good. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to delete this and put these back on the other side of the gate. So we'll put the gate here and then take this one away and add a road. This is actually getting really intense. And I'm like, whoa, hold on. Let's pause this, pause that, because we only need one worker here to do stuff. Uh, these, I think also, we're going to have kind of a maintenance amount of beavers working these pumps. Okay, this has now got 40 logs in it. Okay, so things are now happening. But the question is, do we actually need to use power? I think we need to use it for certain things, like the grist mill. I think we can actually turn off plank makers. They are going to use power, uh, and we don't really need stuff. Do we have any of this built? We, ah, yeah, we were building this uh, warehouse, which I guess we can, wow, I didn't prioritize that, so that's been kind of off. All right, let's pause everything except for our grist mill. Now, gears, uh, I guess we can make some gears as well. So let's see how much uh, power is actually required. Let's see, 240 is demanded. So that's only one power building, which is good. Now, this is a bit sneaky, isn't it? We can't get up here, can we? Nope. So I think we're gonna delete these trees. Unfortunately, we, ha we have to delete them. Uh, so that we can put in the new water pumps. So I'm going to pause these water pumps. And we're just going to leave them for the next time. Let's see. Water pump. Oh, that's actually a place that could use some dynamiting. Let's get rid of this. And actually get rid of this one as well. I didn't notice how there was like a shelf there. When I put it down. Because obviously it's only going to reach down one square. That's not ideal. And we're not going to pump this area out. We're going to leave this area for growing trees. Because that's what we need it for. Mm -hmm. Alright. This is actually looking really, really good. So I'm very happy about that. This. Let's see. How is this working? Can I reach that? Yes, I can. I can reach these squares. So those, I guess, are going to get built. Maybe. Yep. Yep, building in progress. So that's fine. So this thing, I think, can just be turned on. We'll just unpause it. And... Let's see. I wonder how we want to do this whole thing. Maybe we do this and yeah, maybe that's what we do is just have that going that way. Maybe. Because this needs to have a thing there. Alright, I'll leave it. I'll leave it for where it is right now. Okay, okay, okay. So we really need to focus on getting this wall built. Now we're getting two courses. Look at that. Dang. But this still is not behaving, and I think it's because of this stairway. But it'll get there. We're we're just gonna it'll take a little time for our beavers to get there. We do have more beavers working. We have two unemployed, so let's go ahead and put them into a building. This one is now getting we has 55 logs. That's pretty good. Pretty decent. For some reason, it feels like these foresters are so slow at planting. And I don't know really why that is, but it just seems that way. I'm going to let these pumping uh, stations keep on working and generate more water for our large water tank, uh, just in case. Because it is good to pump the water out rather than have it evaporate. That is a very important consideration. Let's see. They do actually have enough gears here, so that's a good thing. I'm going to go ahead and do one more gear. Just one. And 
That way we won't kind of over stack this area with gears when we're not able to really use them very well. Okay, there we go. Finally, they're working on this area. No. <laughs> but in any case, this these uh, blocks were not filled in either, so we couldn't really have done it. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to be very specific and prioritize one course at a time. I feel like that's a really good idea uh, in what we're doing right now. So I think that's what I'm going to end up doing with this so that we kind of get the stuff that we need right away when we need it. Uh, let me go ahead and maybe we do this prioritized as well. And I think down here I want to have a farming terrace. I think farming is going to be kind of important. Listen, we do have tons of grilled potatoes, but I feel like bread is... Well, actually bread is getting better now that we have an, a second gristmill. And this is kind of cool. I like the way those stacked like this to have them right one right behind the other. And of course the power transfers through. So that's really nice. Okay, things are happening. Look at this. These beavers coming over from our main city to go and plant these things there. That's really useful. All right, working, working. All right, but now I think it is time to finish off this episode for today. I think we kind of got a little bit lost in our grand plans for the city here without kind of planning for this thing. We have 14 days of drought ahead of us. Hopefully we'll be okay. I'm a little bit scared, but I think we managed to get these water tanks in time. So I'm hoping we're going to kind of save our colony. Uh, we might have to look at pausing some of these breeding pods because I feel like we actually have too many unemployed beavers. We're kind of growing our population a little bit. Uh, so anyway, we'll see what we're going to do. But anyway, that is all that we have time for today. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.